What's up, y'all? It is Alyssa. I am back here with my YouTube channel. Um, hopefully, I can stay this time. <laughs> um, but that's why I'm making this video, you know what I mean? So, we're gonna spark up right now. Um, this video is all about being the main character. So, um, YouTube, I feel like, is very much a part of that like a little aspect because you're literally recording yourself um and you have to be the actress so this is my little joint right here <laughs> um i don't know i rolled it so it's like probably not the best but we're gonna try hope y'all are sparking up with me um let's see always turn off the air Like I said, I hope y'all are having an amazing ass day. And this video is about main character. So, I previously watched a video about this. You know, there's tons of videos about being the main character nowadays. Before, like, <coughs> that was just like, not even a thing. I don't know, I, I think that's so funny how some phrases can become like trends. But, so these are, I guess, tips, like, kind of, like, guidelines of what to do if you're, like, trying to be the main character. And I feel like I definitely started with this one. Um, bringing the energy back to you. I feel like that's something that you definitely have to learn. Um, you have to really be like aware of your mental health, really. Like ask yourself if you have issues, like whether that be just you or like from your childhood or like trauma or whatever, you know, you just have to ask yourself like what have I been through and what am I still living with today, you know? So, so meditation helps with that. I've been recently meditating. Not, I don't know. I feel like I don't meditate like traditional people. Or maybe it's just like, I don't know. When I think of meditating, I think of like, um, like, you know, like they're just sitting there like being peaceful as shit, you know, just really focused. Um, but my form of meditating would be more of like stretching and like, what I do is I listen to above inspiration videos like just YouTube that and it's like faith-based videos um, but I just like to listen to that in the morning because I mean some are like cringing you know not gonna lie but others are fuck I just knocked the ash on me <laughs> but others are like actually you know inspirational and stuff and so I just pick a random one each morning pretty much and then I stretch, you know. Keep in mind, I've only been doing that for like two or three days. So, it, at no means am I an expert on this. So, let's cut the windows down a little bit. Okay. I'm trying not to be paranoid right now. <laughs> okay. Number two would be like develop your personality. When I first thought of that one, I was like, hmm, like my personality, like do I have a personality? Like, or am I just boring or like, what, like what is my personality? So I just started thinking about, you know, the things that you like and the things that you dislike. Like for me, I found that I really like jazz music. I don't know why, like, for some reason, whenever I hear, like, a really good jazz song, like, by Amy Winehouse, or, like, by, um, fuck, I don't know how to say her name, but it's, like, Erica something. I, I don't know how to say her name. 
um, or like by Lauren Hill, like I don't know, but those like hit my soul differently than any other type of music. Um, so, and then my dislikes would be, I feel like just people who still think they're in high school, you know, like people who just love the drama, people who love the negativity, people who love the toxicness. Like, I just don't like that at all. Like, I don't know. I just don't like that. I don't tolerate that in my life. Number three would be grow from challenges. I just see that as like, like okay, yeah, like, you know, take take your problems for what they are you know analyze your problems not analyze your problems but like know what they are and then kind of like ask God what is my lesson from this you know like what are you trying to teach me what are you trying to make me understand so that's what I see that as um, Number four would be take everyone off the pedestal. Whew. For this one, this one, I felt this one. Because I genuinely, like, I didn't think I was putting people on a pedestal. But when I heard that phrase, I was like, oh my gosh, like, that's what I'm doing. Like, I'm, I'm literally putting people on a pedestal. Like, trying to be, like, judgmental of myself. Cause you know how they say like when you're judging someone like that's how you judge yourself right but it's like with this one taking people off the pedestal it's like uh, like taking people taking their opinions off of the pedestal and doing what you want to make you happy you know like basically not to make them happy but to make yourself happy and like just live a good life and be at peace so yeah take that as you will and then number five yeah this one is to believe in yourself now this one, I am really working on right now. Cause I feel like I've never believed in myself. Like, I just didn't trust myself. Like I realize that now, that I never really trust myself with the decision. Cause of, you know, whatever childhood drama that I have. Hell yeah, we're doing good as fuck on time. Okay, awesome. Okay. So, ugh, I need a drink of water. So, also part of like that whole, it's five steps. So, or like five tips or whatever. Um, so what I want to add on to that would be like, Me at least, you know, like, I would want to come into my, like, feminine energy, you know, like, that would be main character for me, I feel like, um, so it's like, oh, okay, I was watching a TED Talk, I've been watching TED Talks, people, watch TED Talks, those are, like, I feel like I just read a book after I, after I heard a tick, after I heard a TED Talk, like, I feel, like, so knowledgeable, I feel like an adult like this is where I'm getting my source of news from like anyways watch TED talks right so I watched the TED talk on femini femininity and then an um on femininity 
and it says that actions like do do things for the experience like don't do them because of a result that would be masculine energy so masculine energy is an action for a result and then feminine energy is action for experience so that's how I look at it and a lot of cars are just driving by you know, it's crazy okay also dress up for yourself I've been feeling like you know when I'm when I get my makeup done now and when I do my hair now, like I feel like creating a character now. So before I just thought of it like, Ugh, let me just slap some makeup on, you know, whatever. But whenever I, oh, this is also part of uh, main character energy, your job. So that that's what it starts with. But like I said, dress up for yourself. That's where I dress up you know for myself and then for work too um but then on my off days i also dress myself up and like you know take pictures and feel cute and it's i just feel like it's very important to have those moments in your day-to-day -day life because one it makes you feel better when you look cute and then what is it called oh the last one i feel like would be a super good tip if you're like trying to adult more as well so that's prepping for your future self now let me tell you it feels like one of the best things i think my camera might overheat okay prep for yourself right now when you like lay out your clothes at night and then you get up in the morning and you find that they're there you know like ironed and like like it's a styled outfit and like you don't have to think about it like you can just put it on and go you feel like so grateful to your past self because you took the time to like lay out the pieces and actually think about tomorrow you know actually think about dressing up for tomorrow so that would be one example another would be like you know to prep your lunch or like to you know clean your car too you know that's <laughs> i've been getting a car wash and like cleaning out my car uh for about like three weeks now and i feel amazing i feel so good like i feel so clean like my car feels clean i feel clean in, in the inside you know like it's not disgusting it's just like the best feeling whenever you take care of yourself you know like you you do something in the present but then in the future it makes your life a lot easier okay so to be a main character you have to have a main character job okay whoever told you get a job at walmart get a job at racetrack go get a job at target or something like that like no <laughs> like do something that you want to do for me what i wanted to do was uh like get ready for work every day and like wear dresses wear skirts wear heels wear tights wear makeup every day you know just get real ready just just because you know and i literally fucking found that job <laughs> and it paid me it has paid me the most i've ever been paid till this time you know and um, of course you know we're gonna keep going up but right now it's a good environment there actually like it's not that bad like sometimes weird stuff happens but it's just you know you gotta take you can take the goods and the cons of it you know um so yeah i get a main character job ask yourself like what makes me happy what do i want to go do every day you know like because let me tell you i want to make a video about this about working at a makeup counter so all my like little stories and stuff will be in there so be sure to go check that out <laughs> i hope y'all enjoyed this video and i hope y'all have a great ass day
I just love saying that. Like, <laughs> I think that's gonna be my little catchphrase. But yeah, all positive vibes, all positive, you know, energy. 